Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric and in today's video we are going to learn about Microsoft Fabric workspaces. We will create a Microsoft Fabric workspace, assign it to users, look at different workspace settings. So let's start today's journey with Microsoft Fabric workspace definition. What is a workspace in Microsoft Fabric? Workspaces are the place to collaborate with colleagues to create collection of items such as lake houses, warehouses, databases, data flow gen 2, data pipelines and reports and to create task flows. So basically what happens in Microsoft Fabric or Power BI, workspace is a place where we create all of our items, whether it's a lake house or warehouse or data flow gen 2, data pipelines etc. This is the place where all our collection of objects lies and this is the place where we start sharing it. We can share at the workspace level, we can share the items at the individual levels. We have permission inside the items like when you create lake houses and warehouses the permissions may go till table level inside those items also. So workspace is the place in the Microsoft Fabric or Power BI world where you start your collaboration. So let's learn how to create a workspace. I am jumping out of the Microsoft Fabric and the URL I am using is app.powerbi.com. You can come to the same place using app.fabric.microsoft.com and then you can choose Power BI experience or you can continue from there. Now to create a workspace, so from the left pane workspaces, once you click on the workspaces, it will open another pane window where you have the option for new workspace. So click on new workspace here to create a new workspace. So new workspace, it will open a pop-up where we can give the name. The name of the workspace is 000 learn fabric. I can give a description also. I am giving learn fabric series and we have created domain just few minutes back so I'm assigning it to the sales domain as of now I don't want to give a workspace image so I'm leaving it go to advance is it a pro no it's a trial we want a fabric workspace and as of now we have a trial so we are going to use the fabric trial workspace the other options are premium per user premium capacity embedded and fabric capacity I do have fabric capacity but as of now none of the fabric capacities are running and that is why this option is disabled. I can choose one of the semantic model storage format and this is my capacity under which it is getting created. Once you have more than one fabric capacity they will be visible here. As of now I have access to only one trial capacity. If there is a template app I can use that. As of now, I don't want to do any other changes, so I'll click on apply below. Once I click on apply, it will create my workspace. My workspace has been created and I have been landed on the new workspace, which is 000 learn fabric. It is an empty workspace as of now, there is nothing here. I can see new items on the left top to create the new items. I can create the folders by clicking on new folder. I can upload from OneDrive SharePoint or I can browse to upload the PBIX and RLD files to my workspace using the upload option. Once I have some content, specifically reports, I can create an app using the create app option on the top. I can manage the access to this workspace by clicking on manage access and using that I can assign it to different users. So inside the manage access as of now you can see that I am only the one who is having the access here. But I can click on add people or groups to assign it to additional people or group. So let me click on that and I can assign this to a user and I can give him one of the four roles admin, member, contributor and viewer. We will understand this workspace role in a short while. And let me click on add. I have added one viewer to my workspace and now you can see I have an admin and a workspace viewer on this workspace. 
on the right hand side top i have workspace settings i can click on workspace setting to view what are the workspace settings so there is a general setting and inside the general setting i have the name which i can change the description which i can change the domain which i can change and i am the workspace admin and i am also the tenant admin here workspace contacts i can add them workspace on one drive if i want workspace one drive i can add it here i can delete the workspace also then comes the license info now this is the place from where we should be able to change the capacity i can move it around here i have the license configuration as of now the license configuration is it is using the trial the license capacity is this one and the semantic model storage format is small semantic model storage format i can click on edit and change it so let me click on edit choose various licenses or capacities as per need pro ppu trial if i have a fabric capacity i can choose that if i have multiple capacities i can select one of them i can even change the semantic model format and then i can apply the changes using the select license let me cancel this then you have this connection link this is the link which you use when you want to connect it using xmla and point when you connect with external tools like alm toolkit tabular editor you need to use tabular editor 3 in case of microsoft fabric or dex studio so this is the url you need to use you can even connect to sql server management studio using this for analysis services connection then we have azure connections adls gen2 storage connect to adls gen2 storage account it is not configured as of now as your log analytics as of now it is also not configured system storage it is telling you how much is used as of now 0 mb owned by me name size and related items we have not created any items so as of now nothing has been git integration in case i want to connect it with the git as your devops or github i have the settings here we will discuss those things little later one lake so these are the one lake settings you want to learn about those this is here one lake file explorer in case you want to download the one lake file explorer and install it and want to check what data you have in the one lake you can do that shortcut cache enable cache for the shortcuts if you want to enable it at the workspace level you can do it from here as of now the retention period is zero but once you switch it on you will be able to change the retention period so once you enable it the retention period is changing as of now i'm discarding it workspace identities in case we want to create workspace identity we can use it we will learn in details about workspace identity little later network security manage private endpoints and let people securely connect with azure resources or private link services in case we wanted to have that we can use this particular ui for that monitoring monitor workspace activity to gain the insights for the workspace performance add to monitoring event house to monitor the workspace activity add a read only monitoring event house that include ksql database to store the collection logs when you add monitoring event house workspace is logged is automatically turned on and you can pause the logging whenever you need it so it will create an event house the real time data capturing event house and there all the activities would be captured power bi settings general settings secure update allow contributors to update the app means contributor cannot update the app but you can give the permission from here template app template app are developed for sharing outside the organization a template app workspace will be created for developing and releasing the app that's the setting for that data model settings allow the workspace members to edit the models in the service edit are permanent and automatically saved in this feature preview and the version history isn't saved this setting doesn't apply to direct lake semantic models or editing semantic model through api or xmla endpoint so if you want to edit the semantic model you can enable this setting but remember direct lake semantic models are typically edited from the service only very recent the edit option has been given to power bi desktop so that is why it doesn't apply to direct lake semantic models 
data correction setting enable granular access control for all data connections so if you want to enable that you have setting for that enforce the strict control for all the data connection type when this is turned on shared items will be disconnected from the data sources if they are edited by the users who don't have permission to use the data connection then embed code right now we don't have any embed codes delegated settings one lake settings one lake setting authenticate with one lake user delegated ssa token preview this is the preview feature once we enable it we can check that out we'll leave it for later data science and data engineering this is for the spark settings configure and manage the settings for the spark workload and default the environment for the workspace so default pool workspace right now the starter pool and we can create a new pool if required then the pool details are memory optimized node size is medium number of nodes is 1 to 10 in the environment we can choose from the which environment we want the right now the environment it is using is 1.3 spark 3.5 delta 3.2 jobs so right now set the spark session timeout it is 20 minute to reduce the spark session start time for individual notebooks turn on the concurrency setting for the notebooks and the pipeline in high concurrency tab high concurrency for notebooks when high concurrency for the notebook is on multiple notebooks can use the same spark application to reduce the start time for each session means if you use high concurrency it means if already one session is running it can use that for pipeline running multiple notebooks when high concurrency for the pipeline is on multiple notebooks can use the same spark session to reduce the start time of the session so if i enable it if there are pipelines which use the spark notebook they can use the same spark session automatic log automatic log track the machine learning experiments and model automatically log matrices parameters and model without coding explicit statement in your notebook so by default the setting is on so these are the data engineering spark settings then we have data factory settings this is specifically for apache airflow runtime settings apache airflow runtime settings you can configure and manage runtime settings for apache airflow for apache airflow job as well as the apache airflow runtime for the workspace right now the default pool is the starter pool you can also set up a new pool compute node size is large and the rest of the settings are default as of now i am not changing it i have created a workspace and shown you most of the workspace settings available here now we will go ahead and create the workspace items like lake houses warehouses sql database event house etc and then we will start loading the data into the microsoft fabric and understand data flow gen 2 data pipelines copy job activity etc post the data loading we will do the data transformation for data transformation we can use data flow gen 2 sql pyspark scala spark r spark sql etc keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you